What's up guys, Growing Graft, and we are back. So uh, now, anyway, we finished up Season 1. Now it's time to do the tour, so that way we can move on to Season 2 of the Zoo Series. So um, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and move on. So this right here is the entrance, and uh, you can see a little pirate ship right back there. It's just decoration, not really much. Uh, you pay for the tickets right here. Uh, the VIP pass is right over here. You know, you'll never know, like, you know. But, uh, well, what? You'll never know, but you know. But I, I don't even know. Anyway, the, there's like a restaurant over here, and this right here is kind of like, I liked it at first, and now it's just poor. This place right here is uh, not really the best. I, the gift shop's like the best part of it. It's a pretty decent looking building. But, uh, yeah, I, but, um, I always have the uh, main area like this made for the zoo season too. And uh, it looks way better than this, trust me. Anyway, anyway, there's like this bridge over here. Uh, you can hit, see through the bottom here. And uh, this area was the first episode with the... There are three little fish in here. There's three parts of the exhibit as well. So we got the arowana, catfish, and stingray. So anyway, we have a jungly like area right over here with like a lot of grass and seagrass and kelp area. And then we have a uh, more, I guess you could say, more dangerous, I guess, shipwreck area with like lots of spikes and where it'd be more deadly for like any, I guess, human being to kind of come into. You got all this rubble, and uh, that's where the catfish and stingrays like to stay at. And the arowanas, they like to stay in this more tropical area. I have built all the way over here on the opposite side with a nice little waterfall, and uh, it's not too bad, actually. There's a bunch of coral everywhere, and the arowana like to stay in this little area, and it's actually uh, really nice. Anyway, so now I just need to go ahead and move on. Well, I guess we can... Uh, Go this way and loop around. I don't really know. I didn't plan this out very well. Well, I started fine. So right over here are the grizzly bears. I can't remember what episode all these were in. But uh, I'm just going, just kind of winging it. And uh, right over here, you have this little walkway. And you can uh, look in and see the grizzly bears. There should be three. I think one of them. Yeah, there's three. There we go. So we got one over here by the water. Another one just sweeping over here. And then we have another one just kind of chilling by, the, by that tree over there. Anyway, there's a Boo, uh, there's Boo, Yogi, and I can't remember the other one. I think, I don't know. But there's Boo, there's Boo, uh, I forgot already. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm not very smart anyway. Now, if we go right over here, we have the, uh, restaurant, I mean, not restaurant, restroom. I am very dumb, stuttering, kind of, I guess you could say. I, I don't think it's stuttering, I think it's more or less just stupidity. So, we have the, uh, butterflies right over here, uh, it's not too bad. We got a little aviary. We built this on Valentine's Day. And I had 37 subs at the time. And that was like, what, three months ago? And I now I have like 300 and something. 354, I think, at the time of recording this. And, yeah, it's pretty nice. Uh, we have uh, these little butterflies flying around. And it looks uh, pretty alright. So now we can go ahead and close that. And head over here where we have our gorilla exhibit. And it's over here. You enter in a log. And there's also a little cave area where you can see behind the waterfall. And, uh, it's not too bad. Uh, the waterfall view is kind of bad, but, uh, ignore that. But we have a cave over there, another cave over there, a tire swing, this nice little tree, and, uh, a couple gorillas. There's, uh, Kong, and there should be another female. I think it's in one of the caves. I don't know. Sometimes they tend to escape, but, uh, we won't, we won't worry about that. Uh, so if we go down this path over here and take a sharp, uh, right, right now... We have the uh, monkey cavern and the uh, mo and the foxes and wild boars. First, we're going to go down here because uh, that right there is going to loop us around to the next exhibit. So we have foxes over here on this side. We have a nice little forest area and a little pond over there. And then for the boars, we have another forest area. So there's more of like a spruce forest. And we have a, uh, a uh, mud area right over here where they all like to just kind of chill out in the mud and in the water. I don't know why they're so addicted to water. They just like water. Figured that I could be in the mud more, but you know, water's cool, I guess. And uh, the foxes, and I just fell in. That is not very good. That's not very safe. Oh, I just hit a lantern. And we are introduced to the monkey caverns. Uh, so if you look over here, we have some lion tamarins in here. And I recently did go to the zoo, and uh, I'm pretty sure at the end of this video, if I can figure out how, which I think I know how, but I don't know the best way to do it for this editing system. Uh, I'm gonna put uh, pictures. I'm gonna put a few pictures of the zoo. None of them include me in it. I just wanna go ahead and put that out there. But there's gonna be some a few pictures of the zoo in my closest near me. I live like like two hours away, so it's not too close, but uh, still. So the spider monkey over here. And this right here, I did get the idea from 
that place. Like, this here is where I got the idea for the monkey co cavern at that zoo. Even though I hadn't been there in a while, I just kind of remembered it. And then right over here, we have the macaque monkey. I don't even have to see that, but uh, there it is. Uh, there, there's just a few roaming around there. We have the howler monkeys right over here. They're just chilling. And then right over here, we have the white-handed gibbons. I'm just kind of doing doing stuff. Just chilling. And then right over here, we have the Tarzir. I know this right here isn't technically a monkey. It's more or less a primate. But uh, I decided to add them in just because they are... They're just kind of small, and I just had an extra room in here. So, you know, I just went and threw them in here. Anyway, right over here, we have a lemur. Oh, I thought it was cushioned the block, but it's actually right here. So, I tried to kind of make it look like the scene from uh, Madagascar with that rock right there. Just to make it some a little bit different. And these guys all like to get like right up in front of the glass. That's King Julian up there, just to be sure. Because he's on the rock, so he that makes him King Julian. And right over here, we have the capuchin monkeys. That's how you pronounce it. The capuchin monkeys. And, uh, they look, uh, the exhibit's alright. Most of these exhibits are just kind of the same thing. Just kind of executed out in different ways. And right over here, we have the squirrel monkey. These little cute things that I like to curl, like, like to curl up and then uh, right over here we have the anteater the giant anteater and uh i don't know why i did this i mean that area over there kind of makes sense but not really this area but uh this area is kind of like it's a good exhibit it just doesn't really completely suit this uh this specific thing uh, where are they did the ant did the termites overthrow them the termites overthrew them uh let me just uh go ahead and just fix this up really fast there we go we got uh there we go. I guess they're now rebelling against the termites again. But, uh, there we go. So there's the giant ant eaters. And then if we continue on over here, we just have like a tiny little decoration area. It's like a TP fossil. Uh, t uh not T-Rex. Uh, that's a T-Rex fossil, but, uh, uh, mammoth over there. Then over here we have like a little water stand. It's like Pepsi and water right over there. And then, uh, we have the snowy foxes right in here, which is a more recent exhibit. It's not too recent, but it's kind of still somewhat recent. Somewhat relevant. And uh, this right here is actually uh, one of my, I guess, top 10 at least favorite exhibits. Just because I like the way the ice spikes kind of drip down. It looks pretty nice. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, so if we move on. Uh, I can't go around there. If we move on, uh, you can keep on seeing the giant ant eaters from over here. And then uh, I guess we can just go this way. And then I'll just wrap around and go that way. Which will lead out to the front of the zoo. Right over here we have the petting area. Like the farm area. And where you can pet the animals if you just reach over if they're near you. Can't really go in there with them, but right over here we have cows, and I named them all after different uh, steak restaurants that sell steak. So we got like Longhorn, Arby's, uh, what else? Oh, that one's named, all right, it's Beefy and Betsy. Some of them are named after them. But we have Outback, we have Longhorn, we have Beefy, we have Betsy, and I thought I had another one in here, but apparently I don't. I should have named one Arby's, but you know. So right over here we have just like a tiny little decorated area. With a little jeep. And then we have like chickens. These guys right here are named after places. We got Chick-fil-A, Bojangles, KFC. Uh, let's see here. You are Zaxby's. I'm pretty sure there might be McDonald's. I don't know. I don't think I did it. No, because McDonald's doesn't just sell chicken. But uh, yeah, I like Bojangles. Bojangles just seems like a chicken name. I don't know. It just, it just does. Then we have the sheep over here. We have Billy Goat Gruff. You know, because like a fairy tale. Billy Goat Gruff. And then we have... The pigs over here, we got Ruben from Minecraft Story Mode, Peppa, and uh, you are, I'm pretty sure, Porky, yeah, from Looney Tunes. Right over here, we have like a, just a little tracker de decoration I made. It's not the best, but I will admit it's not the worst. We have some rabbits, can't really get to their name, but I'm not even going to bother. But uh, there's like Bugs, Buster, and uh, Luna, I'm pretty sure. Not Luna. Uh, yeah, I think it's Luna. It's the female rabbit from Looney Tunes. That's like Bugs Bunny's... Uh, Girlfriend, sister, I don't know. I, I don't really completely know that. I'm pretty sure, like, girlfriend or whatever. Uh, we got Levi the Llama, and we have Alistar. If you don't know who Alistar is, uh, it's from, like, it's the Llama from, like, Open Season 3 or something like that. And right over here, we have the horses. We have Spirit. Oh, there's a Llama. How did you get in here? I don't know. You are what? Who, who are you? Larry. Oh, yeah, Larry the, the Llama. Then we have Tornado. Anyway, so let me just go ahead and just uh, go out over here. Then over here we have the barn. It just has, like, I guess some supplies. And there's, like, an open barrel right over here. And I did that because in Bedrock you can, like, spam place. And so all you have to do is just have a bunch of barrels. And you just try to spam a bunch of barrels on the wall. And whenever you do, occasionally it will give you that. So I did that as part of a design. Uh, there's, like, kind of, like, a milk area right over here. It kind of looks like they're producing, like, milk and all that. 
and uh, there's like kind of like a, some wheat grinding thing right over here. And right over here we made this around Easter, so there's like an Easter egg hunt around here, so... Uh, yeah, it's a nice little spot. It's not really, Minecraft isn't the best thing for Easter egg hunting, especially in an area like this, but, uh, it's not bad. I will admit, this part of the zoo wasn't, wasn't that bad. Now, right over here we have the, uh, aviary with all the, uh, little birds that can fly, except for a few ground ones. So we got hummingbirds, macaws, we got the Minecraft, uh, parrots, we have, uh, we have hornbills, cockatoos, you are the, uh, bird of paradise, we have two cans, yeah, and all. It's a pretty nice place. I really like it. The trees, some of the trees could have been a little bit better, but it's actually not too bad. I, I really did enjoy making this, except for that part. That part right there was terrible. That's why I can't wait to do the aviary for season two of Paleocraft. That's going to be actually very, very fun. If you can't tell, if you don't know what sarcasm is, uh, let me just introduce it to you. So I have to speed it up some. Uh, we have the bat cave over here, and... Uh, they're all perched up. Those you can see one right over there. That's the. Uh, let me increase my FOV really fast. So you can see there's a little bat right over there. There's also uh, can't really see them that good, but there's a the Minecraft. There's the Minecraft vanilla bat. Then we have the uh, bat that comes with this. That's the bat that comes with this called the flying fox. There's another one right there. There's the Minecraft normal bat. And uh, yeah, now let me fix my FOV because I am getting nauseated. Alright, there we go. Perfect. Back to normal. Now, if you go right over here, we have the ocelots. Not really the most interesting creature, but uh, I really like the exhibit. This area's when I started trying to really get my tree build to look a lot better, and I, I think it turned out, honestly, extremely well. And this exhibit is uh, all around actually pretty nice. We have one right over there. So now let me just go ahead and just do like a looped around right over here. And so anyway, so here's like the insect area. So let me just go around this way. We have termites right over here. They like to jump on tumbleweed. Then right over here we have the praying mantis. My praying mantis is kind of my personal favorite, not going to lie. Snare is pretty good. Then we have the army ants, which are, it turned out pretty good. The blue concrete is supposed to be like sky and all that. And then uh, right over here we have the goliath bird-eating spider. They're both right back there. And then finally right over here we have the Brazilian wandering spider. And uh, yeah, pretty, pretty nice area. This place took a little bit to build. Then we have like a giant ant, sta ant statue right over there. Then right over here we have the aquarium. And uh, there's two exhibits closed right now because they're kind of going under. A uh, little bit of technical difficulties. So we have the Arapaima, if I'm pronouncing that right. We have the electric eel. And they like to spaz out a lot on stone slabs. We have the sea turtle. The sea turtle exhibit, I removed the coral in the middle because it was a little cramped. And it's still kind of cramped, but uh, yeah, I didn't. I built this thinking it'd be enough room, but I was wrong. Extremely wrong. Anyway, right over here we have the dolphins, and uh, oh yeah, I did respawn in the dolphins over here. I tried to actually, I tried to respawn them both in, and actually, I closed this down because they kept on dying. I don't know why, but they just kept on dying over and over. And there's only one dolphin left. I spawned in like three in here, I think, and they're all gone. But I, this area is like my least favorite part of the zoo right over here just because of how small the place is. The exhibits are good, but the, it's, it's a small exhibit. Uh, the river dolphins were supposed to be in here. Right over here we have the manatees. Uh, one of, they're both, uh, they're, they're both kind of not right, you know. Just kind of. Anyway, right over here we have the piranhas. This area is like my favorite exhibit in here. It just looks very nice, very crispy, clean. Uh, and then right over here we have the uh, tropical fish and puffer fish. And for some reason, that pufferfish, I think it's stuck on that right there, yep. But, uh, yeah, pretty pretty nice. I'm, I'm going to say everything except for the dolphins and the sea turtle. But anyway, so if we go into here, we have a little cave where we can view the gray wolves. And, uh, yeah, it's not too too shabby. Uh, and one person's request, uh, they, they wanted me to name a wolf basil. And if I can just find it really fast, let me see here. Nope, I don't think you're it. Nope, nope, and nope, and you're not it. Nope, it must be this one. Yeah, there's basil right over here. And uh, so, yeah, if you have any uh, requests, just go ahead and tell me. And uh, yeah, I, I, I'm back. So uh, anyway, right over here is the two most recent exhibits. So right over here, we have the orangutans and uh, their little, I guess, little perches and all that. And I just want to go ahead and put that out there again for the zoo tour. Uh, because if someone comments it, uh, yeah, the Chaotic Craft did add these into his orangutan exhibit. I just did it a little bit better in a way, kind of not, kind of, kind of in a way, 
kind of looks more like kind of more natural i'd say then we have that big tree in the middle uh, some little patches and a couple waterfalls and then right over here we have the tiger which is the most recent one and uh, there's actually two tigers but uh, i placed the sign before i decide on two tigers so we have like a waterfall right over here with a bigger lake area we got a couple bigger custom trees we got small we got three small custom trees and uh, i do not exactly know where they are let me see all right yeah we have a white tiger over here and we have a normal orange colored tiger and they have a cave where they have two entrances and uh yeah it's pretty nice so anyway i need to go ahead and head over to the other side of the zoo so uh yeah i'll meet you back whenever we're there all right we are here where the path splits onto another part of the zoo so right over here is kind of like a more party area say if you have a birthday party Come right over here, cause uh, yeah, we yeah we have like birthday party stuff over here. Right over here is a cotton candy stand, and then right over here is another uh, restroom, and then uh, we also have like a little bit of an area for decoration, just kind of like a pond, uh, with some cattails and all that, and uh, you can kind of still see more of the view from the boars and the foxes from right over here, and there's a broken glass grass block. Block. I'm like stuttering. I don't know why. Then right over here we have the reptile and amphibian tunnel. So we have the the geckos right over here, leopard geckos. Right here we have chameleons. And then right over here we have the king snake, which is right now laid back right over there. So then right over here we have the red eyed tree frog and the Panama gold frog. There's like two of each. And uh, they like to stay in like half slabs and stuff like that. So that's why. I um, in one of the other exhibits with the frogs, I changed it all to just stairs because they don't like really getting in the water on the stairs. But anyway, so over here is the Burmese python, just kind of all coiled up and right over there. And then next up is the green iguanas. That one likes to chill out over there. The other one's hiding behind that lilac over there. And uh, that one right there is actually very well camouflaged. This one over here is also sort of camouflaged with that and the grass. And right over here we have the cobra. And it's just kind of like coiled up. Even these things belong in the jungle. I wanted more diver diversity. So I got one of these guys for the desert. And then the poison dart frogs. These guys like to preferably stay out of it. I'm pretty sure they get stuck in the water. So yeah, that's perfect timing for me to say like, oh yeah, these guys don't get stuck in the water. Or go like to be in the water. But uh, yep, the one just now got stuck. That one, right, that got free. So they, they're they just dumb. But yeah, poison dart frogs are right over here. So next up we have the anaconda, and uh, right now it is right there. Yep, there you are. And then uh, we have the alligators right down here. I kind of wanted it to look a little bit like Florida, so I kind of made it try to. I tried to make it look a little bit more marshy, kind of swampy, I guess. And uh, it, it didn't turn out too bad. There should be. Yep, there's two. There's another one right down there. And then over here, this area right was once the crocodile exhibit, but I decided to make this area right the polar bear and move the crocodiles elsewhere. So we have a coffee shop right over here, which has multiple views. You can view it over the alligator and uh, the polar bear. It's like right over here. You have like a little treasure area. It's that. There's an iceberg and all that. It's pretty nice. Anyway, so the coffee shop uh, it has multiple views. You can view that exhibit right over here, which we will get to in a little bit. But uh, yeah, you can practically view almost like three exhibits. So uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. So right over there is just like the entrance to the over here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and go this way, actually. And then we got flamingo statues. Actually, I'm stupid. We did not. I'm even more stupid. I, I hate myself. We're going We're going to go this way and then work around back that way. So right over here we have the sloths. This area was once a type of bird exhibit. But I moved the birds to that aviary. So right over here is the sloths now. So I didn't even have to change anything with this exhibit. Except just a few things. I just had to move a few things around. But uh, yeah, we got the sloths all just kind of around about in there. You got the uh, otters, and you got a above ground view right over there. We can see them from above. You got this like kind of like neutral view. Then you have the underwater view, where you can usually see them the best, but you know it can it can vary from moment to moment. Anyway, so if we continue on right over here, we have the next exhibit, which has two little viewing areas. We have the pandas. So we have uh, one panda there, a brown panda there, and another panda right next to it. And uh, it's a pretty nice exhibit overall. I really liked how I did this exhibit is pretty big adds a lot of little trees in it and I especially like the back area right over here with that little cave and all that and they have little feeders that drop bamboo so that's pretty nice now next up we have the Malayan tapirs and uh, we got one stuck on a lily pad another one right over there and the other one stuck on another lily pad yep these guys love to get stuck on lily pads 
So uh, now, right around this checkpoint, we reached 100 subscribers. At this point, we were zooming. Uh, and anyway, right over here, cassowaries. I'm pretty sure cassowaries we built when we got 100 subscribers. So yeah, the cassowaries right over here. And then uh, I'm gonna wrap around to over there. So then, once we head over here, we are now in the like the savanna areas. So right over here, we have the jaguar. Well, actually, it would technically be a leopard, I think, but. Yeah, jaguars live in, like, I think more, like, uh, more, jaguars definitely live in the jungle, but, uh, I'm pretty sure they live in the jungle, at least. But, uh, I decided to go with a savanna exhibit, and I'm pretty sure I should have renamed it to leopard, because leopards live in the savanna. But anyway, so right over here, we have baboons, so uh, I really like this exhibit, actually. It's actually really nice. I like the dead tree right over here in the center. Uh, it's really good overall, and, yeah, okay, I'm trying to show all of his might. Alright, so that right there just wraps around to the side of the exhibit, so we don't need to worry about that. So right over here is another area. We have, like, you know, it's kind of like a little restaurant. I kind of like a fast food place over here. Right here we have restrooms. That needs to be turned that way. So we have, like, the male, you know, female. We already know what bathrooms look like. So, uh, it's actually went third person. So, uh, then we go over here, and we have the antelope area, and, uh, it looks... Mm, I don't know. It looks good for I can exhibit, but it's also kind of boring, you know, because uh, it didn't really require much work. Though literally the most work part was that area right back there. It didn't require much work whatsoever. So let me just go ahead and just jump the railing. Right over here we have the crocodile. This area is where I moved them to. I like this exhibit kind of a lot better. It's a better spot for them. But uh, yeah, we got uh, one over, right over here. And don't say they can jump this because they cannot. I put barrier blocks above this. And, uh, yeah, so they cannot jump it, and it kind of gives you, like, a straight-on view of them and all that. And, uh, yeah, it's not half bad. So, anyway, I'm just going to go and fly on over here, so that way I can do the wraparound. So, right over here, we have a uh, little, just a little decoration area, same with this area right over here. And then this right here is the panther exhibit, and I'm pretty sure I named him T'Challa or something like that. I named him, see, it Chadwick. I think it's Chadwick. I named him Chadwick Bozeman because, you know, he died, like, around the time I'm pretty sure I built this. I don't know. I don't know if he, like, I think he died, like, a couple months prior to this. I don't really completely know. I don't know exactly the day he died, so, uh, but I'm pretty sure I, he died somewhat around that time. So, right over here, we have just, like, a beach area for the tourists and all that. We got some floaties, got, like, a volleyball net and all that. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. We have some, like, little umbrellas. And I like my umbrella design. I think it's pretty nice. Sure, right? Yep. And then, uh, right over here, we have what is called, I'm pretty sure, Buddha Island. Yep, and why, some of these are here like to randomly close. Actually, no, that's supposed to be closed, actually. I'm dumb. But, uh, Buddha Island. So, uh, you cross this little, like, bridge. So, like, old-fashioned bridge that I really like the design of. There's, like, an island full of, like, parrots and, uh, all this. I tamed them all, have them all on sit mode. And now right there, oh, I thought it had a really big eye, but it's just, like, the, uh, feathers around the cheek area. But, you know, like, we have some little, uh, vases. Uh, we got, uh, like, you know, like, pottery, you know, like, a big old thing. Statue. And we have, like, uh, some little, I guess, little kind of, like, ruins of, like, uh, kind of, like, pillars, kind of, like, this area right over here. We have a little pond with some arowana in them. And then, uh, is it just me or does arowana sound like marijuana? Like, all you have to do is just put ma in front of arowana and it sounds just like them. So, anyway, right over here we have the capybaras. Uh, so, it's actually a pretty nice exhibit. I really liked it. Uh, it has, like, a lot of jungle coverage over them. They have, like, this giant river around here, and it's pretty nice all around. So, uh, right over here is just, like, kind of like a little, I guess, look out to the ocean. I don't know. I was going to add in some more decoration over here, but I just didn't ever get around to it. You can take a bridge, get a good look at them, waterfall. And then this right here should be, I'm just going to go up here really fast. The otters again. And then, uh, if we just cut through this little path over here. We can see another side of the polar bear. And we have like a little, uh, another little food stand or drink food. You know, kind of like a, just a stand, all around stand. And right over here is the second episode. I remember this right here. We have the flamingos. I really like this exhibit. Uh, I just don't really like that tree anymore. First I liked it, now the tree just kind of doesn't look as good. Uh, but yeah, I can't wait to uh, do season two. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. I will make sure to put the, if you wait until after the, uh, after I say leave a like and subscribe and all that, I will have pictures of it up there with, I don't know if I'm on any music or not, 
But uh, or I always try to add it in, in photos because a lot of people said that they wanted to see them. Not really a lot. That but that mean a lot as in like two. But uh, so yeah, that was it. So um, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you did enjoy, and uh, catch you guys next time. Peace out.